Hello, I'm Ron Clark. I want to present my new book called Ron Made, A Lifetime of Magical Tools. Okay, so for years people have been asking me to write something about the tools that I make and so I've done that. Uh, it's basically a picture book with just lots and lots of pictures of all my various tools, most of the tools I have made for others and for myself. Yeah, <clears throat> now at the beginning, the introduction, I define four classes of tool. Uh, number one is a tool that's a found object, uh, that's a special memento of a specific moment or experience. Now I classify that as a tool. Uh, the example I give is the rock that I carry in my pocket, that I've carried in my pocket for 30 years now. Um, and it reminds me of a very special time. And it has <clears throat> that power because of my feelings about that moment. So its power comes entirely from me. Second class of tool is the type of tool that has no intrinsic power of its own. And all of its power comes from the magician or the user of the tool. A wand, let's see, in that class, what tools do I list? Um, second class, I list seven different tools that I have made. Um, a wand, a goddess statue, a walking stick, um, a rattle, uh, the charging box that I used to make, um, and the tree of life meditation altar. These are all tools that have no intrinsic power at all. All the power comes from the user. Third class of tools do have an intrinsic power of their own, but they require uh, a user, a magician, to make use of them to bring out that power. Okay? And I have five different tools listed in that section. Among them is my gate maker. It has no real power of its own, but it has the power to direct the user's um, meditations on the Tree of Life. Um, and then I have three important tools from the old TMO working group. Now, several of the tools that I list are tools for the TMO working group, and I created extensive user manuals on those tools, giving really precise and involved instructions on how to use the tool, because um, they have all been um, very versatile tools with lots of different uses. One of the user manuals is like 30 pages long. <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> and the fourth class of tools sort of stands out on its own because it these are tools that have an intrinsic power of their own that operates pretty much continuously and does not require a user to activate uh, like my protector it just protects and like my radiator it just radiates that's all it does and my golem um, they just are, okay? Uh, don't require anything from a user to activate them. So, uh, within those four classes of tools, I give 16 examples from my own, you know, repertoire of uh, uh, made tools. And I talk a little bit <clears throat> about how to make a tool. Um, uh, the certain most important thing being the mindset that you 
develop during the making of the tool. Your mind has to be focused just exclusively on what you're doing in order for it to really be a magical <laughs> tool. Um, and I, throughout I talk a little bit about the making of these different tools, especially in the uh, TMO working group tools, uh, in the user manuals, I always say a bunch of stuff uh, about the process of making the tool and give some photographs of that process. So it's a photograph intensive book. Uh, Amazon did a pretty good job in the paperback edition um, reproducing all the photographs. Some of them are a little dark, um, but I have yet to receive the hardbound edition which is printed on better paper. Um, so, that's the new book, book number 10. Jeez, book number 10, okay. So, I hope you enjoy. Bye-bye. <laughs>